are you having this book about Rockin' Readers Week? But, but I am. But this one's called A Hundred School Days. On the first day of school, Miss Madoff gave me a penny. She asked me to put it in the jar on her desk. Plink! I dropped the penny into the jar. Mrs. Madoff asked Evan to bring a penny to school the next day. Every day, someone put a penny in a jar. Plink! 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 Every day we help count the pennies. Mrs. Madoff told us that's how we would know how many days we had gone to school. When we counted ten pennies, we knew we'd been going to school for ten days. But we learned more than a hundred new things. On day ten, plink, Sam put his penny in the jar. He also brought Ten balloons to celebrate day ten. Each of us blew up one balloon. Then Sam and I took them to the principal's office. She said, thank you. These are beautiful. Plank went the penny. Even dropped into the jar. When we counted them, we found twenty pennies. We knew it was day twenty. That's why I even bought 20 matchbox cars to school. When day three came, uh, day 30 came, Machiko dropped in her penny. It was plank when it landed on top of the pennies in a jar. She had collected 30 red, brown, and yellow leaves. We Tape them to the windows of our classroom to celebrate autumn. On day 40, Sarah brought in a penny and plank. She dropped it into the jar. She bought 40 paperback books to school. Her grandmother helped her carry them because they were heavy. On day 50, Evelyn brought in the penny. She dropped it with the plank into the jar. She also brought 50 seashells to school and told us how she had collected them at the beach. On day 60, Nicholas dropped in his penny. Plank, it landed in a penny jar. It took a long time to collect the pennies. Nicholas brought 60 baseball trading cards with pictures of famous ball players on them. He said he went to four baseball games during summer vacation and saw Lonnie Alonzo hit two home runs. On day 70, it was so cold and windy outside, I wore the woolly hat that covers my ears. That day, Katie... Kate dropped a penny into the jar with the plank. She also brought in 70 sunflower seeds. We made a sunflower cake and put it in a string bag for hungry birds. When day 80 came, Pablo brought in a penny. Plank, it went as he dropped it into the jar. That morning, we counted 80 pennies. Pablo also brought a package of 80 popsicle sticks to school. We each get 8 sticks. Look what I made with mine. On day 90, Charlie brought in a penny. Plink, it went. The jar of pennies was almost full. Charlie brought a puzzle with 90 pieces. He told me he already put the puzzles together and made a picture of the dinosaur. Then he took it apart again. Finally, the big day arrived. It was day 100. That day I brought in a penny. Plank, the jar was full. We counted 100 pennies. That meant we'd been going to school for 100 days. 
I brought a hundred jelly beans to celebrate day 100. And one bought a bag that held 100 of something good to eat. They were a hundred pretzels, a hundred pieces of popcorn, a hundred of raisins, a hundred of chocolate chips, a hundred of almonds, a hundred pieces of star-shaped cereal, a hundred mini marshmallows, a hundred dry banana chips, a hundred cheesy fish crackers, and a hundred smooth jelly beans. We took turns passing the bowl of yummy treats to everyone in the cafeteria. It was day 100 at my school, and all of the schools in the city where I live. Now, all those schools are going to send their jars of 100 pennies far away. They're sending the money to the town where the hurricane hit. The penny who live in a town can buy something that they need with all those pennies. I wonder what it will be. The end. Thanks again for another day. Join us again tomorrow for another story of the Rockin' Readers Club. And I'll see you next time. Bye.